All right. Well, I had one shot, one opportunity. And it finally came in today. A book that's been talked about a lot lately. Finally came in the mail. Not packaged too well. We're going to open it up today. Show it off for you guys. See what kind of condition this thing showed up in right after this. <laughs> What's rocking, or should I say rapping, comic fans? Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. We got an awesome one for you today. Short one. One thing that we're opening up for you. It's a book that a lot of people have been talking about, especially this past week. Um, that book is the Spider-Man Eminem, Spider-Man number one Eminem variant book. I was lucky enough to snag one. Uh, on the first drop, the 5,000 copies, uh, I didn't get the black and white 1,000 copy limited variant that dropped. But I got this one. I was lucky enough. You know, right place, right time as far as, and quick fingers as far as the checkout goes. But I was able to snag one and it came in today and I'm going to open that up with you guys to see what kind of condition this bad boy showed up in. Because as some of you might have seen, the shipping on these was not that great at all. So we're going to open it up with you guys today and check it out, see how it came in. Uh, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. If you are new, do us a favor. Don't be new anymore. Click on that subscribe button down below. Much appreciated. Much appreciate the love and the subscriptions. If you like what you see here today, if you like this book in general, give us a nice solid thumbs up down below. Click on that figure down below. Much appreciate it. Smash it. Like it. Love it. Also, leave us a comment down below. Were you lucky enough to get this book? You know, a lot of people were mad. I would say butt hurt. There were bots and all that stuff. But I don't know how I was lucky enough to get it. I just saw it went live. I was checking the site off and on. And I saw it went live. Went in. Apple Pay. Boom. Out. Nice and easy. The other site, thehall.com. That was a big disaster. Now, before any of you start, oh, you know, variants, blah, 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 you know, I only collect Silver Age. It's a cool book. That's why I bought it. I'm an Eminem fan. I'm a Spider-Man fan. It's a cool cover. I bought it. I like things like this sometimes. That's why I bought the uh, DC Grey Days variant cover with Jester Bennington on the cover. My wife loved it. I bought it. I like it. Stuff like this always stays in my collection. So, now... Let's get down to the packaging of this thing today. I saw some horror stories as far as people folding it and it being folded and put into their mailbox and everything and bent in half and all kinds of stuff. I was lucky enough. This is how it came. Nice, crisp. And if you know your postman, if you don't know your postman, Get to know them. I left a nice little note on my mailbox saying, please do not bend. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And my postman was nice enough to hand deliver it to me. So a little kindness goes a long way. So if you're ever unsure as far as shipping and stuff goes, and you know you track it and everything, and you know it's coming in, leave a note. They appreciate that thing. And end the note with a nice, solid thank you. Where every once in a while, you know, you see your mailman out there. Say hi. Talk to him. See how the day's going. It goes a long way. Trust me. So let's see how it came. A little nervous. Nice. Not a single bend. Not a single crease. No damage whatsoever, honestly. Very, very, very lucky with that. Because like I said, I saw some horror stories as far as the condition that these things arrived in. I mean, the, the, I, this company went really went the cheapest way possible as far as sending these things out. I mean, this is the thing that was protecting it. I could bend it with one hand. 
you know, and the book luckily survived the journey. I love this cover and like every time I looked at it, I don't know how many times you guys have looked at this cover as far as the little Easter eggs and stuff that are hidden in the background as far as other characters. Like you got Miles Morales, of course, standing right there. I'm still trying to figure out why Daredevil's up in a tree. What else we got? See Spider-Gwen all the way in the back. All the way back, back, back there. She must have showed up late to the party. But very cool, you know. I was very happy with it. I tried getting the other drop that was only a thousand print run. Failed miserably. That site was a huge mess. It would load, unload, be able to get it in a cart. Then you would be frozen at your cart. And just a disaster, honestly. But this, luckily, the cheapest bags possible. I'm, I'm going to pop it out of the bag. See if there's any bins or anything on the back. But it looks like I got pretty lucky with this one. Now, if you have this book, what would you do? Keep it bag boarded? Or would you slab it? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You know I'm a big CGC thing, anything, CGC guy, anything that I know that I'm going to keep and hold on to for a while. I usually like to do it with the higher end keys and stuff like that. I don't do too many moderns. But every once in a while, I'll send it to, I'll send a modern in. Oh, the back is rough. Back is definitely rough. Even though it arrived... Nice and clean. The back has definitely got some issues back there, as you can see, which I'm actually kind of surprised. Front's clean, but that honestly looks like, I don't know, that breaks color a little bit. Most of it can be pressed out, honestly. Yeah, most of it, this can be pressed out. That one in the middle is kind of nasty. So maybe, what do you think? Send it to my presser? Have him work on it? Have him slab it? What would you do? I mean, because regardless, it is a cool-looking book. And I think this would look cool displayed in a slab. So I might send it to my man Chris over at Camera Rays and have him work his magic on it. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll leave, leave a comment down below. What would you do? Would you send it out? Or would you just leave it? Or maybe you would just flip it. That's up to you. Because uh, I see the selling price on these. It's, it's going to come down. I mean, it's right around between like 150 180 bucks on that right now. Um, I think once FOMO settles in and everything, that'll definitely come down. I have a feeling it'll probably end up being like a $60 book. But that's about it. I don't think it'd be any more than that. Um, if it is any more than that, I'd be surprised. That thousand print run one, that that would be a lot higher. That one I think is selling for like seven ninety nine right now, and there was also the autograph version that they dropped. The autograph version they were selling for three hundred and fifteen dollars. I've seen that one selling anywhere from fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Rough, and you know what's cool too? A little fun fact for you: Eminem is a big comic fan. Yes, he is. I think he's actually got a copy of AF. Amazing Fantasy uh, 15, first appearance of Spider-Man. Google it. He is. So I wonder how he would feel if he knew the books were being shipped out like this. M, if you're a comic collector and you knew the books that had your name on it were sold on your website and you're a comic fan for being sold in packages like this how would you feel if you being a collector and you got something bent up banged up that you spent your hard-earned money on it's kind of disheartening but is what it is that's the name of the game luck of the draw just like on the drops it's all luck uh that's all i got for you guys today i got some cool books coming back from cgc now i should have them within the next couple weeks Got some mystery boxes that I'll be opening up with the little guy. I should be dropping that on Wednesday. So make sure you ding that bell for notifications. This way you know what we got going on. In the meantime, keep on rocking. We'll see you in the next 
video.